Hello, this is Vic. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for viewing my videos today. I'm in the beautiful country of Greece and I'm visiting the most spectacular and historic island in the Cyclades part or Kyklades part in the Aegean Sea of Greece. I'm visiting the beautiful island of Naxos. Now Naxos is a very historic island for many many reasons. One of them being that over 65% of its surface area which is 400 square kilometers is is really occupied by mountains containing pure white marble as a result because of the quality of the marble the quarries the stone quarries here have been used for the Greek sculptors to create statues for thousands of years now in this particular documentary we're going to do something very special we're going to visit one of these ancient stone quarries and we're going to find an unfinished 11 meter statue is that possible yes it is so let's go and visit this ancient statue lying unfinished in the stone quarry that has been in operation since about 1200 before christ i will explain to you what happened to this statue we're gonna get very great views of it. Come on, let's do it. And uh, here is a first view of this incredible marble statue, half finished. We're going towards the top of the statue here. You can see what once would have been the hands. All the way up. Here's the head of the statue. Oh, let me make sure I don't slide here. 11 and a half meters in length. Now, what happened here is they started chiseling out the statue in the sixth century. They found imperfections in the marble, cracks. You can see them here, here where the face would have been. And they left it on site. You can see the marble all around. So in case you've been to Easter Island and you've seen the unfinished statues at Rano Raraku, this is the same case here. Let's go up higher and get a better view so you can see what I mean. As I said, 11 and a half meters in length, about 35 feet. You can see the hand extending right there, unfinished. The chest right there. Let's go down. Let's go up to the top and get a better view of it. Come on. And uh, from up here, we have a far better view of this kudos, this unfinished statue. You can see it lying on its back, the head, the torso, the feet. You can see what the Greeks would do. They would carve the marble around the statue. Carve the statue. And then move it. And most likely would have finished it right on site where the final destination was intended to be. So assuming that the statue was finished back in the 6th century before Christ, who was supposed to represent or what was the statue was supposed to look like? There are a lot of theories about the statue. One of the theories is that it was supposed to represent the god Dionysus, the god of wine. Well, I don't think that's the case. Another uh, theory is that it was supposed to be a kouros or in plural kuri you probably know other statues the nude uh, male figures you know walking with their arms down by their sides with their fists tied 
and that's not the case either. The reality is nobody really knows. Was this a Kuros? Who knows? It doesn't look like one to me. First of all, it's too big to be a Kuros. And secondly, with the hand, the way it extends away from the body, it is definitely not a Kuros. Is the god Dionysus? Who knows? There are so many theories about it. The substance remains that it was supposed to be a beautiful white marble, 11 and a half meter in length statue that it was never completed. So it's more famous now than it would have been if it was completed and if it was in a temple somewhere. It gets visited by thousands and thousands of visitors every year. Let's continue with the videotape. And another view from up here. Now in the far distance you will see the resort town of Apollonas, the only fishing village in Naxos. We are at the northeastern end of the island and this is where a lot of statues were created and queried from. And most likely the lions for the island of Dilos came from here as well. So this is a very ancient stone quarry. And this is a very historic, very, very unique site in Greece indeed. Here's another view of the overall area. And the very last view of this magnificent statue here. I don't know if I mentioned to you, it would weigh around uh, 60 tons when it's finished. <laughs> now I have managed to get a glimpse of this uh, unfinished statue here from the inside. You can still see where the ancient sculptors had chiseled the marble here on this side in order to separate the statue from its original site. Let's walk through. You can see the other hand here, unfinished. What an incredible sight, really. It is very rare, as I have said, that you can find anything like that here in Greece. And this is the, where the feet would have been. So where I'm standing at right now, there was thick white marble. It was just a single unit between my left and my right. And then what they, what they did, they chiseled out about a meter of space in between so they could work around the statue and underneath the statue as well. Here you can see some of the spaces that where they chiseled the marble out of, right there, 26, 27 centuries ago. Look at that.